divide is to multiply by reciprocal. I am Anil Kumar and we will explore this property in this video. Let us divide 8 by 2. What do we get? We get 4. Well, this is same as multiplying 8 by half, right? Half of 8 is also 4. Now you can see here, 8 divided by 2 is 4 and 8 multiplied by half is also equal to 4. How are 2 and half related? Half is reciprocal of 2, right? 2 could be written as 2 over 1, right? 2 is 2 over 1 and half is 1 over 2. So when you write the numbers, flipped so that numerator becomes denominator and denominator becomes numerator we get reciprocal of a number and remember multiplying reciprocals always gives you one right so these are few things which we need to know in moving forward with this video so what we are saying here is dividing by two is same as multiplying by half where half is a reciprocal of two you get the point right so that is what it is now let's do another example what is 9 divided by 3 9 divided by 3 is 3 how about 9 times 1 over 3 one third of 9 is also 3 so basically dividing 9 by 3 is same as multiplying by its reciprocal how about 10 divided by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2 and 10 times 1 over 5 which is 1 fifth of 10 is also 2. So we see that dividing is same as multiplying by reciprocal, right? Let's explore. If I do 12 divided by 2 over 3. What do we get? Now, we know that dividing is same as multiplying by reciprocal. So first, let us do multiplication by reciprocal. So we will do 12 times. What is reciprocal of 2 over 3? It is 3 over 2, right? That is to say that we can do half of 12 and then multiply by 3, right? So, what do we get? We get 12 divided by 2 is 6 and when I multiply 6 by 3, I get 18, right? So, that is what we get. So, 12 divided by 2 over 3 is same as 12 times 3 over 2, which is 18, right? You could have done it like this also. You could multiply first, that is 12 times 3. 12 times 3 is equal to 36 and then divide by 2, right? Then divide by 2, you will get 18, right? You could have done like that also. Now solving 12 divided by 2 over 3 is kind of difficult, but writing it as multiplication makes it simple. Do you see that part? And therefore, we always treat division as multiplication by reciprocal. So here are a few examples which you can try. That is 10 divided by 5 over 4, right? What should this be equal to? When we say 10 divided by 5 over 4, we should first write it as multiplication statement. That is 10 times 4 over 5. Now, we could either do 10 times 4, which is 40, and then divide by 5, 40 over 5, and we know 40 divided by 5 is 8. This is one way of doing it. The alternate way of doing it is, we could do division first. Division means 10 divided by 5 is 2, and 2 times 4 is 8. That is to say, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10. Now if I multiply 2 and 4, what do I get? I get 
8, right? So that is our answer. So I prefer to write division as a multiplication statement and then to simplify better is first divide then multiply or simplify and then multiply, right? So let's take one more example and this time we will take a fraction. Let us say we have 6 over 15 divided by 9 over 10. Now how should we do it? 6 over 15 division write it as multiplication. That means multiply by its reciprocal which is 10 over 9. Now we can multiply these numerators 60 and 15 by 9 in the denominator and then simplify. What is the better way of doing it? Better way is first simplify. We know we can divide 15 and 10 both by 5. So 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 2 is 10. We can also divide 6 and 9 by 3. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9. Once we divide by common factors, then we can multiply and get our result. 2 times 2 is 4 in the numerator, 3 times 3, 9 in the denominator. That's what we get. So, so in this, we have fraction divided by another fraction. When you have that, what you should do is, you should write the first part of the fraction as such, change division to multiplication, and multiply by its reciprocal, 10 by 9, Simplify by crossing out or dividing by common factors. Multiply and get your result. I hope these steps will help you to understand and do division quickly. Go through this video once again and then explore few more examples. Thank you and all the best.